atheists should read the Bible. No wonder they don't believe they don't know what's in our book. Just a couple of things I see a lot on YouTube. So to make sure I'm not missing anything, I'm reading the Old Testament to see if there's anything there. Maybe this chapter will make me believe in God. Hello, I'm the Skeptic. I watch videos on YouTube that make extraordinary claims, whether that's evolution is fake or atheism is wrong, but mostly the claim that a god is real and then explain why I don't accept their position. Before we start today's video, if this isn't your first Skeptic video, do the things with the buttons. That would be amazing. Also, a super thanks to those that hit super thanks in the last video. Travis White, Wicked Lee Goods and Dawn Alderman. Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe bestows many blessings your way. Leaf be upon you. There's a lot of back and forth in the comments of my videos, saying that I should read the Bible to stop being an atheist, but then many folks also say they became an atheist because they read the Bible. So to see if I'm missing some major proof, I'm working through the King James Version since where I live in the USA, that version seems to be the most popular. This is what the entire chapter says, then we'll go through verse by verse asking obvious questions. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he builded a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch, and unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mehuel, and Mehuel begat Methusiel, and Methusiel begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives, the name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bare Jabal, he was the father of such as dwelt in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal, he was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bare Tubalcane, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubalcane was Nama. And Lamech said unto his wives Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos, and began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Oh dear, that's a lot of babies we have to keep track of. And I'm pretty certain I butchered some of those names then. But let's unravel this and ask some very important questions. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Well, I'm glad he knew her. Uh, Oh, but now he knew her. 
Why can't they just say Adam and Eve had some sex and because contraception hadn't been invented yet, they got pregnant? So baby number one is called Cain. It's a good job Adam and Eve aren't Celtic, or else he may have been called McCain and been confused with a French fry. And Eve said that she had gotten a man from the Lord. So even though she and Adam got down and did the good thing, she thanked God for it. Adam must have been a terrible sexer. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground. It amazes me that these babies knew exactly what job they had when they came out. So Cain was a farmer and Abel looked after sheep. Pretty pointless jobs, since there are only four people on this version of Earth. Cain shouting, Look how much food I've grown from tilling the land! Only for it all to go to waste, since four people can't eat 20 tonnes of potatoes before they go rotten. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Why on earth would a god need food? To eat? Or did Cain just go, well, we don't need it, so let's just leave it here for a deity to make some baked potatoes for his next garden party? If it does need to eat, what did the god do for food before Cain was there? Why can't it continue doing that? And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Well, I mean, keeping animals alive is much harder than keeping plants alive, especially when you're a newborn infant and probably haven't even learned to walk yet. Oh, sorry, no. It said there was a passing of time. Then carry on. It makes perfect sense now. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Sure, anyone can grow a plant, Cain. Come back to Godfrey when you've grown a tree of knowledge or something. Also, don't ever play poker with Cain. His tells are clearly obvious. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? God doesn't know everything, clearly. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. I'm sorry, what? Cain just needs to understand what this God wants? Sorry, God. But you're supposed to be the one that knows everything, not a dude who grows 20 tons of potatoes for four people. And I'd be annoyed too if I spent all my time growing crops just to have them rejected. That's bloody annoying and Cain talked with Abel his brother and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him well that was an overreaction talk it out loud with the god who's the one that has the problem with your crops little Abel is only able to do the job he was given it's not really teaching kids a good message is it if your siblings doing better than you just kill them instead of you know trying to get better at what you do and the lord said unto Cain Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And God was all, damn, he got me there. This God really seems useless. I really honestly thought that this God was supposed to know everything. It supposedly created the world for crying out loud. How can it do all that, but not know where his little sheep farmer is? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Oh, so the God did know. I guess it wouldn't be a very good story if God just came out and said, I know you killed your brother. The end. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. So the ground is now cursed and won't grow crops. Well, that'll probably be a bit of a relief since no one liked the crops he grew anyway. That's not a punishment. You're giving McCain oven chips some extra time now, God. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. But secretly, he was planning on which Xbox game he was going to play first, now that he had all this free time. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. But everyone, there are only two other people on earth, right? If there were others, it would would say so Cain killed Abel and now he's worried that his mum and dad might slay him he'd better be as good at hide and go seek as his undemonstrated God and the Lord said unto him therefore whosoever slayeth Cain vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold and the Lord set a mark upon Cain lest any finding him should kill him so, so now this God is protecting a killer from his parents 
And what kind of a mark did the god put on Cain? Like the dark mark in Harry Potter? And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. I thought the land of Nod was a place you go to sleep. Where your parents tell you to go to. Come on, let's go to the land of Nod. And does going out from the presence of a god just mean you stop following that god? Or do you stop believing? This could be interpreted to mean that Cain was the first atheist. No wonder believers think atheists are evil. Atheists don't go around killing their siblings out of jealousy. Well, at least I don't. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he builded a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. Wait, wait, what? Cain knew his wife? Where did she come from? The only woman we know of is Eve. Did Cain sleep with Eve and have a baby with her? Well, even if it wasn't Eve, and there was a secret daughter born to Eve whilst all this Abel murder was going on, that's still his sister. Oh, I I think I just threw up in my mouth a bit. So Enoch is Eve's grandchild, but also her son. Incest, the family game. And what's this about build it? If you're going to use this book to teach children, at least get the correct tense for words. Never mind the fact it encourages boys to know their mother, gross, but it can't even teach them how to word from speak hole correctly. Oh, and I guess we've all heard of that famous city, Enoch. I've been there. Sure you have, Cat. sure. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mehuel, and Mehuel begat Methusiel, and Methusiel begat Lamech. Jeez, Eve was busy having sex with all her children's children's children. Poor woman must have been exhausted. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. What, what the f***? Where did all these people magically pop up from? At least with Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe, leaf be upon her, there's an explanation for where folks come from. Need another partner, random person on Earth? No worries, Lisa will keep pooping out people until a match is made. It makes complete sense. And two wives, slash sisters, slash cousins. Maybe the writer of this book was under the influence of some hefty toxins whilst writing this waffle. And Ada bare Jabal, and he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. Well, I'm not sure what relevance Jabal loving camping has to do with anything, but okay. And he's a cow farmer. Great. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Where the H-E double hockey sticks did musical instruments come from? This is the big problem most non-believers have. Theists live their lives by this book, but there are so many holes that you just fill in the gaps however you want. And then all this mess happens where folks say, no, this interpretation's right. No, this one. Who cares about interpretations if you can't even demonstrate this book is even divinely inspired? And Zilla, she also bare Tubalcain, an instructor of every artifice are in brass and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Well, thanks for the utter confusion. So far, the family tree of this lot is messed up. And where's God whilst all this is happening? I thought it was a book about it. I mean, I'd be out of the way too. These incest-loving humans are breeding so fast, I'd need a scrap of paper to jot down who came from who. And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zilla, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. Lamech just casually walks in, sits down, pulls out his slippers and a pipe. His two wives enter from the kitchen, bringing him a tea and a slice of cake. How was your day, husband? Oh, just grand. I made twenty dollars down at the mine, and I found a new friend called Steve. Oh, what's Steve like? Dead. What? Oh, he hit me, so I killed him. And that is a far better story than the drivel we've put up with so far. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. What a terrible message. God will protect those that kill. I've got sour news for you, Jack. God doesn't know very much, so the likelihood of it protecting you is slim to none. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Bloody hell. How old are Adam and Eve at this point? I hope one of the many random offspring created Viagra and another one found a natural lubricant. This wouldn't be easy for folks who are several generations old. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Okay, great. Another child that will probably end up sleeping with his mother or nieces or something. 
disgusting. Genesis chapter 4 taught us a few things. People pop into existence out of nowhere. God protects people that are cold-blooded murderers. Incest is okay in the biblical world. And none of it points to the proof of the existence of a God. So we'll just have to keep looking. Well, I guess we can skeptic Genesis chapter 4 as researched. If there's anything you enjoyed particularly about this chapter, let me know in the section below. A big thank you to this month's ticks on Patreon, MISM, Addy Rockart, The Enixes, Travis and The Absolutely lunatic jimmy as well as all the base ticks you can become a supporter on patreon too at patreon.com slash the skeptic the link is in the description along with links to all my other socials don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already from me the skeptic stay safe keep thinking logically and ask questions skepticism is the first step towards truth see you next saturday